When I was invited to visit the SS Great Britain in Bristol, I jumped at the chance. I hadn't been on the ship for several years, and now that the renovations had been completed, I could see what the vessel looked like in those days as it would be prepared for one of its 32 trips to Australia. The period has been carefully recreated, even down to the named baggage of the passengers and the piles of bloody things needed for the journey. The SS Great Britain made several voyages to the USA, of course. One of them, surprisingly, to San Francisco. A group of enthusiastic Cub Scouts were also visiting on this day, and very well behaved they were too. The ship's bell caught their imagination, as you might well have expected. But they were also in and out of the cabins, on the decks and everywhere. The sleeping accommodation is fairly primitive, and the bunks are quite small, although people used to be much smaller on average in those days. I don't know if any of the crew had to climb up to the crow's nest, but it seems an awful long way up there to me. There's a special line drawn across the deck to separate the two classes of passengers. I'm not sure if the cannon was needed to shoot trespassers. And the livestock on the deck illustrated how the passengers were supplied with fresh meat on their journey. Meals were taken in some splendour, as you can see. Take a break, have a set of stairs. Yes. About in a little room to the side, there was the first aid point. All a bit bloody, and castor oil seems to be a prominent remedy. Well, it's good to see the SS Great Britain in such good condition again, and a visit is well worthwhile.